came home the morning of the 8th, early morning hours, came home, went to sleep, my regular. The coronavirus was in China where it started. Therefore, I decided that it was safer to fly deep south than to head toward Hong Kong. There were many restrictions there in Hong Kong due to the virus. Little did I know when the morning I came in on the 8th, that would be my last trip that I would ever work for American Airlines. I was scheduled to fly again on the 19th with some dear friends, Mary and Joe, and we had plans to go out. Bobby was gonna join us for dinner. We had shopping and things we were going to do in Buenos Aires. They had canceled uh, many trips already, American Airlines as well as many other of the major airlines. I started canceling trips, mostly international flights. Um, my trip to Buenos Aires did not come about on the 19th. My Hong Kong trip at the very end of the month had already canceled. We were allowed to wear masks on the flight due to the coronavirus and um, wear gloves for picking up food trays and, and items in general. People were avoiding coming to the United States because the coronavirus was hitting here as well. Uh, not in masses yet, but it was starting. American Airlines offered leaves of absence, early retirement, and in the leaves of absence, you could take three, six, nine, or 12 months off with insurance, seniority, and vacation accrual, which was really a, a very good deal if you wanted some time off. You had a allotted amount of time that they would pay you for as well. The VEOP was also offered voluntary early out with pension. With all the leave options, I, I really was considering the three month leave, um, which would give me May, June and July off and I would go back to work in August. Um, I took a, a month off for April because many of the, um, the flight attendants didn't have enough flights to fly with all of our internationals canceling. And um, I decided I'd take April off to allow other people to work that really needed to work. Uh, therefore, I had, was enjoying the month of April. After much consideration about the voluntary uh, leave of absence, permanent leave of absence, I decided that would probably be the option I would take. It wasn't something I wanted to do, but I thought it was time uh, to move on to another chapter of my life. My coworkers and I, my close friends, we discussed these options and they felt the same way I did. Uh, little did we know when we came in off one trip, it would be our last. That wasn't the way you usually plan things. You usually plan a trip that you're going to celebrate and fly with all your friends and make that the last trip you're there. I took the, the early out uh, program and I will be officially retired May 1st. The paperwork is overwhelming. Uh, I have to do a lot of paperwork. They did not give us a long period of time to make this decision about retiring or taking leave of absence. But the re retirement stage is, is overwhelming. Uh, we've had to fend for ourselves pretty much. Uh, we haven't had a lot of guidance as far as preparing for retirement. Most places, you know, you retire, you, you plan on it. Uh, you set a date, maybe it's two or three months down the road, but we haven't had that luxury of, we had to make a spontaneous quick, quick call. And, and we have, and I'm sure it's gonna be the right one. It's just time will tell. I'm gonna miss my work.
but I have friends in many, many places, many states, as well as outside the U.S., that I'll be going to visit, so I hope they've got that bedroom ready for all of us that are going to trek in and out of their life. I love flying, you know, Hong Kong and uh, Buenos Aires, seeing my friends, joining people for dinner, visiting with people I knew there, um, my not just my co-workers in the air, but agents and ground personnel, my supervisor. Uh, we had a close bond. It's, it's a bond that people really don't understand. Uh, it's not just American Airlines, but if you see somebody else in uniform, another airline, it's, it's always a gesture to say, hi, how are you doing? We hugged a lot. The Jet Bridge was our, our meeting grounds. We'd hug off one getting on the airplane, one getting off the airplane. You hug the co-workers on the ground, the agents, your supervisors. Uh, you bring gifts from here and there, just simple little things like um, wasabi peanuts or wasabi walnuts that you can't get just everywhere. We enjoy doing that for people, giving to people. My co-workers who have retired, they say after you're off, you think, how in the world did I do that so long? It'll be 52 years come June for me, but it has flown by. Uh, the compliments uh, from all my co-workers have really touched my heart. I look at pictures, I laugh. Like I said, the uh, the sentiments that people have sent to me are just overwhelming and so very kind. I'm going to miss getting on an airplane, going through probably the rush of getting ready. And you have a lot of pressure and we have so much preparation before that first passenger walks on board an airplane. The people that you work with, whether you've ever seen them or not, you come together as a team. I'm missing uh, passengers that I've known. You knew their first names, you knew about their families, uh, where their kids were going to college. And then of course, the end of the flight, getting your, to your final destination and getting together with all your friends, going to the pool party, as I called it. That was our gathering place to just kind of unwind after a flight and then plan our day the next day, whether we were gonna go shopping or some people go hiking. Uh, Hong Kong has fabulous hiking trails and so many different islands that you can explore. Uh, I love the cultures, I love learning. Um, and, and I got paid to do that. And treating each of my coworkers <laughs> with kindness and consideration. That's what I'm gonna miss. Once I retire, I plan on traveling. Uh, after the virus settles down, that's gonna be a while. I probably won't travel until next year sometime. Uh, if possible, maybe later in the year, but I, I have a feeling it'll be next year before everything really simmers down and gets back to normal, uh, a freedom to, to go about. But I would like to work at like Scottish Rites Hospital or the Ronald McDonald House. Being a little mature as I am in my age, I think I, I would have the compassion and support that someone might need and understanding. So that's that's my plans for retirement. Come up May 1st. It may not happen immediately, but it will come about. Probably an ultimate retirement party would be, there's so many of us that have retired under stressful conditions. We weren't ready to go, uh, but it, we had to face the facts, and that's, 
this seemed to work out for the best financially and overall. Um, I, I think probably just having a, a great party, inviting everybody that wants to say their last, um, their last words as far as what fun we've had. Not sure my house is big enough for all that, but <laughs> we may plan on, you know, a, maybe um, maybe the C.R. Smith Museum would be a great place to to have that final. That way, people could come and go, see all of us that they want to see. Um, there are people I know that others don't know. There are people they know I don't know. But what a great celebration that would be! This came on quickly. It, it wasn't something I had planned on doing. It wasn't the way I wanted to end my career, but we don't always have the, what we plan doesn't always happen the way you want it. I'm graced with good health, good family, and a life that I have loved. Take it, go out gracefully, and look forward to the next chapter.